Hello, this is Bullet, aka the Passive Aggressive Sherpa. In today's video, I want to talk about some things going on in the game. From the upcoming expansion pack that I'm very excited for, to the current issue of Bungie being caught red-handed cheating us out of our XP. I've cried to... I've cried? I have cried. A lot, actually. But not about this. I've tried to cut back on a lot of my criticism of Destiny 2 for a few reasons. Some of those reasons to follow. I hate being negative. I'm good at it but I hate it. There's so much about Destiny 2 that I love, but there's a lot that drives me crazy. I'm not a fan of Bungie, the company that makes Destiny. I want to be. They seem like good people, but they've made some decisions in Destiny 2 that were just flat out ignorant and seemingly without thought. And with the recent XP debacle, it only further justifies my feelings towards them. It's just that I don't like hearing people complain, at least most of the time. I feel like if you hate the game so much, don't fucking play the game. However, I too have complained about it. But I do so because I love the game. I, I always explain why. I want the game to be better. I've always tried to make that clear in my videos. I think there's a few things that are responsible for Destiny 2's less than amazing run thus far. One of those reasons being the community itself. From the time the beta was released, many of the big Destiny gamers were not being honest about the Destiny 2 beta. I think many were just so happy to get new stuff that they were blinded by it. It was flashy and new, but few of these gamers came out and talked about the flaws they saw. I ranted about many of these things that I thought sucked in the beta. Some of the things I thought were going to suck actually turned out not to suck, but most of what I complained about turned out to be dead on accurate. I, I even seemed to upset a Twitter friend over that review. She completely disagreed with me. It's understandable, and I don't blame her. When I hear people badmouth Destiny, I too get defensive, but sometimes the truth hurts. But I really felt that it needed to be said. Back then, people thought I was just being a hater. That wasn't the case. Complaining about things you strongly believe based on rational thought isn't hating. Hating for the sake of hating is hating. That being said, I could have made my case in a less foul-mouthed manner. But it's just not me. I'm passionate about the things I love. And Destiny is something that I have grown to love. Now the game is in disarray. The numbers of people playing have dropped significantly since launch. I saw it coming, no one listened. But I have continued to play Destiny 2, because despite, despite, Jesus, I cannot talk this morning, but despite its serious fuck-ups, there's just so much I love about the game, and I'm still hopeful for it. So let's get the negative out of the way first, and talk about this XP crap that's going on. As I understand it, it normally takes about 80k worth of XP to rank up one time. Each time you rank up, you get a bright engram. Fun, paid stuff that you don't have to spend cash on. Sweet. Of course, now Bungie is saying that it takes 160k to rank up. I could be wrong, but I believe it's a pretty well-known fact that it, it averaged about 80k in the past. So it's just another shady thing I find terribly frustrating. But here's the problem. Bungie had been throttling your XP. For those that play all fucking day long, we got screwed the worst. I started to wonder about this before it became an issue. But simple me, I figured it was just a glitch in the matrix, and I let it alone. But I had noticed on several occasions that my XP bar just would suddenly stop moving. I mean, after two hours of playing and it didn't move, or barely moved. But like I said, I didn't have time to investigate. I don't make any money making these videos. Nothing is monetized yet. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to go about it. My primary goal has been to try to create content that I want to make and that I hope others will enjoy and maybe someday feel worthy of supporting it. So I just didn't have time to focus on it. And like I said, I just figured it all had to do with tracking and server stuff and that it would eventually work itself out. So I let it go. Then about a week later, the topic blows up. I missed out on that boat. I have mixed feelings about this because I feel as though Bungie has stolen from me. Why? Because I have paid for bright engrams and I was to keep able to collect a lot of fireteam medallion, medallions. I have spent all kinds of bright dust on those things. But what pisses me off the most is that I spent good money buying box after box of pop tarts just for the bonus XP I could get. And to think about how much of that was simply wasted on Bungie cheating me. I mean, isn't this literally a crime? I was defrauded. But I still play the game. Love the fucking game. The reason? 
this isn't the last straw for me is because they never put it in writing what I was going to get with XP. And to be honest, I play so much that I can easily get three or four bright engrams a day. So even with their cheating, I'm pretty sure I still came out ahead. It's just that it really leaves a bad taste in my mouth. After all the times their support staff has ignored my requests for help over the past few months, with all the idiotic changes they made to Nightfall, basically ruining it, all the stupid things they did to make the Crucible worse, this just really pisses me off. I can accept the in-game changes they made, because they tried to do something different. They succeeded in many ways, but when they stooped to cheating me, it's going to be a long time before I trust them. Trust is one of those things it takes a long time to earn and just seconds to lose. So I'm dealing with it. I'm hoping for the best because I don't believe their conduct was done with malicious intent. They're a business. They tried to make it work for everyone. They just failed. And let's be honest, they don't owe us bright engrams. That is them handing us money for just playing the game. So, though I still feel like I was cheated, I can see the bigger issue. All right, enough of that. Let's talk about all the good that will be here in one week from today. The Trials of Osiris. I just said the Trials of Osiris. The Curse of Osiris. They have promised so much. From what I've seen, I think it all looks amazing. They have promised a great many changes. I'm not holding my breath, but what I'm excited about isn't the changes so much as the new places to explore. New regional chess, new lost sector, new public events, new places to explore, a new strike. I can't wait. In fact, as I'm writing this script, the final Bungie live stream is just less than 24 hours away. I plan to have an awesome video of that tomorrow afternoon, unless something comes up. Special note, as I'm speaking to you now, it's a day later and something did come up. Bungie canceled their live stream that was scheduled for today. I'll talk about that in a bit. Yes, I wrote most of this yesterday, and I'm recording it today. So far, what I've seen from the trials from the Curse of Osiris looks really good. I don't know why there's so much hate around it. It's fresh new content, new rankings, and new places to explore and things to do. When I first started playing Destiny way back in January, I started to see a lot of hate for the game. People were bitching about the story. The story was fine. It's a fucking game. It's not gone with the fucking wind. It's got action and fun shit to do. There were those that bragged that year one was the best. And those that bragged that they've been playing since year one when the game wasn't the best. This shit reminds me of the way people complain about Saturday Night Live. People complain about that fucking show season after season. There hasn't been a season I have lived through that people weren't saying the show was dead. It's not as good as it used to be. And I've been watching the show almost since the beginning and, and regularly for well over a decade. And I've seen the same people bitching about it five years ago that today have turned around and said that it was, that it was great five years ago and it, but it sure sucks today. I mean, people are never happy. They will always complain. Destiny has become like SNL in that respect. It's become the new thing to shit on, and I don't like that. If you have a serious, well-thought-out issue, that's fine. Talk about it. Explain why you feel that way. But just to randomly show up in the comment section to say it sucks or likewise says more about you than it does the game. But what gets me the most is the people that don't even play the game, that will pop into chat or a comment section just to shit on it. What kind of idiot, mental coward does that? I think the things Bungie has discussed about the expansion pack sound great. If it sucks, I'll say it sucks, and I'll explain myself. But as I've already stated, it looks to offer what a lot of us want, new activities and rewards. There'll be new weapons and gear we can start ranking up, and we can start ranking up our light and power level, fun things to grind for. I will say that what I'm hoping for the most, they appear to have no plans to correct as of yet, and that's the boring and broken nightfall. Their anomalies suck. No one wants to jump through fucking hoops either. You want to get people back into Nightfall, it's simple. Get rid of those idiotic anomalies. Make Nightfall 30 minutes long, again. Or, or maybe even 25. Then make a prestige mode that's 15 minutes. Bring back the occasional burn modifiers. And primary, special, and heavy modifiers. Sorry, kinetic, energy, and power modifiers. Make it something that is fun for clans to actually do together. And at the same time, give us solo players at least a fighting chance to solo it. There used to be at least a dozen people every week that soloed Nightfall. I'd watch several of their videos. Every week they'd solo it. 
and it was inspiring. It made me want to do it. And I eventually got to the point where I could do it almost every week. Now of those dozen or so people, I only know of two, maybe three, that solo it every week. For the rest of us, it's near impossible. And that just takes all the fun out of it. Hell, Planet Destiny used to make a hilarious video every week of them running Nightfall. Haven't seen them do it in weeks now, because Bungie has taken all the fun out of Nightfall. They've sort of turned many of these strikes into mini raids. There's two reasons I don't do raids. One, I think they're boring and they suck. I have no desire to really learn the mechanics of them because it's just not fun for me. Two, I don't have a reliable group to run the raid with. I can tolerate guided games for the 20 minutes it takes to run Nightfall, but to be stuck in a room with five other people I don't know for what could be hours and hours, I will probably never do that. Sure, I could meet some decent people, but chances are I'll meet some people that I'll never play with again that will do nothing but annoy me and now they'll be stuck on my friends list because it's just easier to add someone than to say no thanks you annoy me. The old me would be that brutally honest but this is the kinder gentler me. Sorry I went a little off topic here. My point is that there, there are many great things about Destiny 2. I don't expect it to be Destiny 1. If they don't fix Nightfall I can live with it. There are other things in the game I love to do. It would be a shame, and not doing anything about it would be a huge mistake in my opinion, because it's just not fun anymore. It's tedious. So now we come to the live stream that got cancelled. Oh, how that pisses me off. There's no reason to cancel the live stream. They could have done, what they could have done was extend it. Spend an additional half hour or hour talking about what they plan to blog about. It's just another bad decision by Bungie. Look, I think it's great that they're taking the time to address some of these issues. I think it's important that they that they start to publicly address this stuff. They need to earn their credibility back. But maybe canceling their scheduled live stream isn't the best way to come out and say you can trust us if we can't even trust you to keep your schedule. Now instead of reporting back to the 2.5 people that might actually see this video or the one that I had planned to make about the live stream later today and all the cool things to come, I have to report about all this boring endgame bullshit. I get that they're trying, but it doesn't come off as trying to me. It comes off as desperation fueled by panic. There's no reason they couldn't do both. It doesn't instill confidence in me when they can't even start to make amends without screwing it up. But I will be waiting for their blog post or whatever the hell they're going to do and I'll report on what they say in a quick update later this afternoon or tomorrow, depending on when they decide to publish their info. I just don't want to waste any more time on this crap than I have to. I just want to put out fun gaming videos and not waste my time complaining about what stupid thing Bungie did now and how again they said they're listening to us. Just make the game better and do what you say you're going to do. Problem solved. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. This has been Bullet aka the passive aggressive sherpa aka the angry sherpa and if we could get to 7187 likes on this video that'd be great thanks for watching